Today I stand humbly before you for your support in what is soon to be a wonderful journey. But before I begin, I'd like to give a special thanks to God for giving me the health and the strength needed to stand here before you today. <laughs> Okay, so I want to be able to, and I will not stand here before you today and give you fluff or give you lies. I cannot promise anything to you today, okay? But I will promise one thing, and that is my commitment. My commitment to all of you, my commitment to the city of Patterson. I constantly say, I am Patterson. And some people laugh at me, and I really believe it. <laughs> laugh. You know, we continue to lose a lot of funding, you know, for, you know, the different projects, you know, to HUD. You know, and I look at that. And I go, what's going on? What's going on in city council? What's going on with our administration? And then I sit back and I go, you know what? I'm not there. I'm not privy to a lot of it. Okay? So I said before, I won't sit here and bash any administration. I will say this, though. Okay? I want the city of Patterson to come back. I said, you know, I have a budget at home. If I bring X amount of dollars into my home every day, if I bring $7,000 a month, why am I spending 10? So you know what? In the city of Patterson, we're gonna be looking at where the spending is, okay? And we, unfortunately, have been cutting services. So our taxes are going up and our services are going down. So we're gonna work together and I commit to working with everyone in the council as well as in the administration. So whoever that may be, coming up in next, the next, um, next year, May of 2014, when I run, okay, I will be willing to work to move our city forward. So I stand before you humbly once again. I want to thank you, and I want you to know that Maritza Davila is here to serve. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the next one is for our next councilwoman in the city of Patterson, Maritza Davila. Put your hands together. I want to thank each and every one of you who came out here this evening. Danny and Noah and Team Vision, thank you for being here. All of the organizations and groups that are here with us today, put your hands together one more time for our next council. John Curry, John Curry, great event. Give us your opinion and why you supporting Marisa Dava. Well, listen, as you know, I don't endorse a nonpartisan election. But Marissa has proven to me, as a person that I've known for a long time, and her commitment, first of all, to our democratic values. Democratic values is about helping people. Uh, she's proven that to me. I think she deserves this opportunity, and I think she would make a good representative if she's elected to council. Because she's done the work, she has the compassion, she has the understanding of what we need in business, as well as what we need for our working poor and what we need for our communities, for there to be safe streets. So she's got the experience and the overall, the overall ability to make a good council. You have it all, Mr. John Kerry, Chairman of the Democratic Party, also his personal view on Marisa Dallas. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Chairman. We are here with freeholder T.J. Bass. T.J. Bass, great event tonight. What is the opinion and why are you supporting Maritza Dabba? Well, I think Maritza is the best part of Patterson. You know, when you talk about diversity and how Patterson is one of the most diverse cities in the, in the country, she really embodies that. If you look at the people who she associates herself with, her friends, you know, it, it, it's a direct reflection of what the city of Patterson is. And if she could bring that into office and, and really bring people together as opposed to the division that exists today, it will really help to move Patterson forward, and that's why I'm supporting that. Patterson have gone through a lot of stuff, uh, to a lot of situations. 
word unity means a lot. So you think Maurice Davila will bring that unity, the verse, into the community? Definitely, without question. Thank you. You haven't heard Paul from Freeholder TJ Best here in the event of Maurice Davila. Thank you. We are here, Mr. Ashmore, from the Bangladesh community, to point in Marissa Zavala. What is your opinion and why you guys are, are real strong with Marissa Zavala? What motivates you? Uh, Marissa worked with us uh, with Mohammed's campaign, and I know she can work tirelessly, and she's a very dedicated person. Anywhere, actually, we uh, we needed anything done, uh, either be in Pesacano Community College or in our campaign, she was always there. And I think she'll be a good candidate, and uh, she'll probably be one of the best ones we ever had. Can you say just a few words in the Bangladesh language for those out there uh, talking in Bangladesh language to support Marisa Dabla? Muhammad Al Campino, I'm a Muhammad Akhtar Jamal Campino, Marisa Zela Shadji Horse, Amimun Horila, Kuru Kedinu Vitana, Evong, Pesakari Community College of Zao, Patterson City Hall of Zao, Marisa, Sakura Ambrosha from Paimu. Thank you, Herr Hurley, one of the leaders of the Bangladesh community. Thank you. We are here with a friend of Marisa Davila, Eddie, and also a co worker from the Pase County Community College. Why are you supporting Marisa Davila? Well, first of all, she's a great friend of mine for a long time. She's been at the college for 20 years. Um, I know she can do the job, and like I said, she's been a friend, a good friend of mine, just like a sister, and I love her a lot, and I think she will do a very, very good job uh, for the CBA Patterson. We need more people like that, and I hope, I hope to God that she'll get it. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you for your opinion. Miguel Diaz, yes. the event, great. Why are you supporting Marisa Davila? Marisa Davila is a fine an organizer, a lady that gave away everything for the community, and she's deserved this. So, you think that Marisa Davila would bring unity into the whole council in the community? Yes, she said that's what she worked all her life for. Commissioner Khan, why are you supporting Marisa Davila? Uh, I believe in Marisa Davila, what she did with my community. As a Latino, and I have been out of Bengali community in Paris. So every other community, African, they can trust her or any Latino community because she goes out for everybody. I believe in her leadership and I believe she could change Patterson for a better part. Thank you. Nancy Greer, Nancy Greer, uh, a leader in the community, hardworking woman. Nancy, what motivate you to come down and support Maria Davila? Because she's a people person and I really enjoy her spirit. She's a good person and she's for all the people. Thank you, Nancy Greer, for those kind words. See you in election day. Why you are supporting Marissa Davila? Because Marissa is very, she's a very people person, very helpful. Always there, motivating, motivating and monitoring and mentoring everyone. Whoever she can help, she's there to help, no matter who it is. Doesn't matter who you are, she's always there helping you out. Why are you supporting Marissa Davila for Councilman on Lodge? Because I believe in Maritza. I believe she's an awesome candidate, a committed woman, a woman who loves the city of Patterson. And I believe that Maritza understands that the best is yet to come for the city of Patterson. Maritza, I wish you the very best. Straight message, the community has spoken. See you in the polls. Thank you. We are here tonight with Nelly Sully, candidate also for the Board of Education Patterson uh, next November 2014. 13, right, I believe. Yes. Uh, Nelly Sully, great event. What is your personal opinion of this event? I think it was very surprising how many people came to so diversify, which is good to see that it's not, she didn't just reach out to the Hispanic community, reach out to everyone that apparently respects her and is supporting her, which is good to see because we need to have an involvement of all 52 communities in our Patterson town to come together as one to move the city forward. From what I hear from other people that have worked with her closely, she seems to have that strong bond of always willing to help and put in herself last and put in the community first with whatever they need and that's a good sign for a candidate that's a change in way she says she wants to work and work on the budget and work together as a team teamwork is what we need at the council so those are things that i'm looking at and going this might be a candidate i'd like to support if this is what she's truly standing for thank you nelly sally for your opinion you, god bless you and good luck to thank you too you. i want marissa davila marissa davila your opinion for this event what do you want to send a message today well 
I think that, you know, today's event was a very successful one. I think from the crowd, you can see that it was. I spoke from the heart. I think that it's important to show that if you want to run for the city of Patterson, you have to be able to stand in the center. And I think that today I showed that I stand in the center. So I think it was a great turnout. Marisa, one of the things that I saw tonight in your speech, that you put family first. Why? Because family is a foundation to anything, you know, and I think that it's important that we put, you know, the family first, okay, because it is the pillar and the foundation to anything that you do. Thank you, Marisa Davila. God bless you. Good luck in your election. See you in the polls. Thank you. Thank you.